What's up guys? So if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'd notice that I've been working pretty hard on this super awesome weapon. I did film it, but after looking at all the footage, I have a huge edit ahead of me. So to help hold you guys over to the next video, I put together a super super quick tutorial on my take at a realistic version of Sokka's necklace from Avatar The Last Airbender. As we fade into this shot of my scroll saw, our first step is to take a quarter inch thick MDF and cut them into rectangles that are about an inch by a little bit over an inch. Note that these do not need to be perfectly square at all. Next we're going to bunch them up into a clamp all next to each other so that we can take them over to our drill press. This helped me drill perfectly down the center, long ways might I add, every single time. Now once that's all done, one at a time, we are going to round out all of the edges with this sanding bit. And please, please, please keep it on a clamp when you do this. Whatever you do, just don't hold this while you're sanding it down. I'm sure you enjoy having skin on all of your fingers, so let's leave that on there. Once these are all rounded out on both sides and on all pieces, we can start painting. I used acrylic paint specifically because I had it laying around and it's super cheap to buy. I mixed together a bunch of white, some yellow, and a little bit of black to get the color I wanted. You can do whatever you want, but I wanted some kind of off-white color. So I painted them all with this mixture. Once that all dried up, I took some elastic string, fed it through each of the holes, and tied it all together. So there you have it. I'm hoping that the Sokka cosplay is something you guys are interested in at least a little bit because that is something I will be working on pretty hard throughout the next week. I do hope to cosplay as him at KimuraCon this coming Halloween weekend. So back to the weapon. As for like really long elaborate builds like these guys, um, I'm thinking of doing some live streaming on Twitch. Let me know if that's something you guys would want to watch. I think it would be really fun to just hang out while uh, I build these things. Thanks again for watching, I hope you guys learned something, and I can't wait to release my next video on the weapon. See ya.